19cc, 1931. I just wanted to talk to you about our new CaffeNation.org, which is a Patriot portal. And what we've done here, the reason we decided to create our own portal is that the government at any time um, can just take down all these Facebooks that have anything to um, say that they feel is negative towards any religion or maybe the government or whatever. They don't really respect freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, Facebook doesn't even respect it. Um, we have a lot of problems saying how we feel and what we should do to um, make a difference. We've got a government that doesn't listen to us. We've got the Labor, the Liberals and the Greens who really don't give a fuck about you. They're all in it for themselves. There's so much corruption. There's so much we can do by um, working our own backyard. So we've created the Patriot Portal and it, it even has um, we've listened to people who said that they'd like to date other for, uh, patriots because they understand. So we've even put a dating system into, built a dating system into it. The system has cost us a fair bit of money and a lot of hours work and I'd like to thank those people who have been putting money and work into it. Um, the portal covers electorates because the electorates are our backyard so when you join our caffernation.org which in about three weeks we'll be asking you to um, join up you will not only join 19cc or 1931 whichever you're a member of you will also be joining your electorate so you will know what's happening in your electorate and we're looking for leaders in the electorate that will be able to go out there, have a look at what their local member is doing or not doing more like it um, and let the people in that electorate know. That's your backyard, that's where you should be hunting in, that's where you should be fighting and in fact it's your trenches. You'll also um, sign up to be in the state group so you know what's happening in your state because that's important as well and then you will naturally be in the 19cc group or 1931 but you'll also if you're say gold fields or the iron triangle etc um, the wheat belt you would actually be in that group as well so that anything your group's doing um, no one else will know about it but you definitely know it's got forums in it and there's especially blogs where we've got people that really know what's happening out there at the different levels and um, there's blogs included in it as well which is very important. Our enemy no longer is just political Islam. Our enemy is well, we know who the enemy is, it's the government. They've let all this Chinese um, to land, um, our land to be sold to the Chinese. They're letting gas lot, the gas pipes to be, the, the electricity poles. The enemy's within already, but we're going to get together and um, make a difference the difference you can make is at the ballot box. I believe that we can win this war without weapons at the ballot box. The protests are not working, but a protest of 300 people in your electorate turned up on the local minister um, and intimidated him and just told him, you know, it's not good enough, you're not doing what we want, you're fucked. You won't be going anywhere. You're not going to get any more money out of us. You're there to do our biddings. If you're not going to play nice and look after the people in your electorate, um, bye. And that's 
how we've got to be. We've got to be tough now. Um, there's a lot of other things in there like videos and the, in the portal and there's um, you know your normal messenger and things like that but it's more about what's happening in the Patriot world people will still be on their Facebooks until they disappear but um, I'm hoping in three weeks that every 19cc patch member and every 1931 patch member will have moved over. We've all got also got other groups uh, on there and um, um, that's a good thing. They're the groups that are working with us to achieve um, a greater Australia. Um, we want to make Australia great again. We want to drain the swamp at the elections and to do drain the swamp we've got to be there to make sure that people know who they can vote for. We can't force people who to vote, but we can definitely tell them what's happening weekly in their electorate that's not helping them. For an example, Barnaby Joyce, up in New England, which town with an Armadale, and the old ladies, old oldies were saying, and I am old, how nice he is, but did they know that he's voted twice? Um, against raising the amount of the pension? Probably not. And if they had known that, they'd just think, yeah, he's an arsehole, I won't be voting for him again. Those who are affected by swearing, sorry about that, but I would consider him an arsehole and those who are on a pension, I'm sure, don't mind a little bit of swearing. Uh, I'm just trying to think, there's heaps more on it, but when kaffernation.org is released again, um, I, I want you to join up with us. We're also asking other groups, leaders, like um, say if you've got a Facebook group like Truth for Phobes, etc., to come as part of a wall to wall, which we call it, where all the um, leaders of the different groups we can get information when it does go to shit. And I believe it's going to go to shit um, sooner than later. I'm not sure what you're thinking. No one trusts the government. No one trusts the newspapers. You definitely don't trust Facebook. And um, please, when we put that out to you in three weeks' time, please sign up. Anytime you want to talk to me about anything or you've got any strategies or ideas, can you please just send me a message and let's have a conversation. It's about, as Harry said, having lots of conversations and letting people know how the, our politicians are letting us down. Talk soon.